Brian Westbury joining us. He is a chief economist for First Trust Portfolios. I should point out he's among the most accurate forecasters in the monthly index from the Institute of Supply Management, ISM, which makes him a Bloomberg best when it comes to manufacturing. Thank you for your time, Brian. Appreciate it. Thanks, Melissa. Right, great we, to be with you. Great. We were just listening to the numbers, this new normal, the Pew Research Center figures that Adam sure. was sharing with us on microwave ovens, dryers, uh, air conditioning units, essentially durable goods, items that last longer than sure. three years. Curious what you think about these trends we're seeing. You know, it's, this is kind of fascinating because in, in this recovery so far, I mean, we've been in one now for about a year. It's been slower than uh, we hope, but, but it's, been, it's been there. We've seen consumer spending go back to an all-time high. In other words, we are now spending more uh, than we were pre-recession back in 2007, 2008. What's, what's really fascinating about the mix of that spending is that durable and non-durable goods kind of stuff that you buy hasn't gone to a new high but services have so here in the United States we've we're spending a lot more on services mm -hmm. and that's really what's driving consumer spending right, not well, the durable goods spending So I want to talk about that for a moment because you have two types of issues at play here if you're looking at services which is really mm -hmm. that the core of the US economy that's one factor you're saying sure where people are putting their money but what about the the manufacturing which a lot of analysts say is key to sure. coming out of this recession out of this glut. Yeah, manufacturing has been, it, it hit bottom, it's been bouncing back. We've actually added jobs, I, I think in the last four or five uh, months in a row, but we are also importing a ton. In the second quarter, imports grew by 35% at an annualized rate. Um, you know, I was thinking when we were hearing those numbers about uh, air conditioning and, and uh, clothes dryers, you go to some place like China or India and ask that question, the numbers are gonna be lower, mm -hmm but they have increased dramatically. So you ask Chinese, you know, maybe it was two or three or 5% just a few years ago that thought air conditioning was important. Now it's gonna be 25%. That represents hundreds of millions of people. That's what's really driving demand in the world today. Brian, where are we going to see some positive growth when it comes to jobs? I know recently I was reading sure. an article that you said once these distortions associated with the tax credit with home buyers kind of gets mm -hmm. out of our sight, then we're going to see an right. uptick when it comes to those jobs in homes, building? Sure. You know, remember cash for clunkers? I'm sure everybody does. It, it was last year. It caused car sales to go up. Then when the cash stopped, when the government pulled away, car sales went down. Now they're back up to, to where they were around the peak of cash for clunkers. The same thing is going to happen with, with houses. We've plummeted in housing numbers for July. That's because all the April, May, and June numbers were artificially inflated. And now we've hit bottom and we are going to grow out of this. I think construction uh, jobs will increase, just like manufacturing have. One misconception is that we have been adding jobs. In the last seven months, seven months in a row of private sector job growth, the average is 90,000 per month. Now, that's not gangbusters. That's not right, booming. No. It's a lot slower I'm, than a lot of people need, especially those people that are out of work today that are searching and maybe even giving right, up but hope. Well, 90,000 90, a month, it's not nothing. And uh, you know, so what, what I'm hearing everybody say is we're not growing at all. That's not true, we're, we're growing. growing. Yeah. It's just but more slowly than all we right, wish Brian. we could. This is clearly not the late 1990s. Brian, thank you so much for your time. Nice to talk to somebody Thanks. optimistic as well. Brian Westbury is a chief economist at First Trust Portfolios.